What's up everybody? Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monica. If it's your first time here, what's up? What's poppin'? Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, then welcome. Hello. I look a little crazy right now because I have nothing else on my face other than my eyebrows and my eyelids primed, but that's for a reason. I don't just look like this on the daily. What we're gonna be doing today for our makeup video is actually doing the makeup bingo makeup roulette challenge, which I think it's more so like makeup roulette because I feel like bingo is like B-I-N-G-O. You play, it's in a row, you do numbers. I feel like it's more like a roulette in my case. So we're just gonna call it makeup roulette. Shall we? Yes, okay. Anyways, how this video is gonna go down, let me explain it to you if you have not seen one like it before. So what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna be taking two different palettes. People have been using one big palette. A lot of people have been using the James Charles palette because it's a really good palette for this challenge, honestly. But guess what? I don't have it. So you know what we're gonna do? Something else. I'm gonna be taking the Carity Matte Palette and the Daisy Marquez and Beach Cosmetics Palette. I'm going to number them one through 41, that's how many shades are together when the palettes are combined. I'm gonna start with the Carity Matte Palette starting at one, and then it's going to end in the Daisy Marquez Palette at the end of the palette in this shade right here, which is gonna be shade 41. So I'm gonna number all of them going by the row, same thing with the Carity Matte Palette, and I'm gonna draw about four to five numbers. I think I'm gonna do five, so I can do like an inner corner, a lid, crease shade, a brow bone shade, and then like an outer corner shade. I'm kind of nervous and I don't have anything else on my face right now because I don't know what kind of look we're going to create if I'm going to have a lot of fallout because I know the Daisy Marquez palette actually does have a lot of fallout. So one thing that's like eh about it, but yeah, without further ado, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right now and wish me luck and give this video a big thumbs up. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna take my little custom brush holder. My future mother-in-law actually made this for me for my birthday, I believe, like a year or two ago. And it's so perfect for this, my hand fits in it. So I'm going to now pick five numbers and I'm not gonna look at them. I'm gonna just pick them and then we'll be surprised together. So that's one, two, three, yeah, three, four, and five that's it all right let's see what numbers we have hopefully i got a good mixture so we have number one <laughs> number 23 number 12 number 37 and number five so that's actually a really good mixture i feel like of both palettes so let's see what we have so number one is going to come from the carity matte palette and it's the white color which i am not mad about that and then number five, one, two, three, four, five, is this blue color from the Carity Matte Palette. We have shade number 12, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we have a white, a blue, and a purple so far. So shade 23, because it ends on 21, so 22. And then 23 is this like nice transition shade. Thank God. And then this ends in 41 and I got 37. So 41, 40, 39, 38, 37. Hmm. That's very interesting. I kind of paired this coppery color with purple and blue and white and tan. Okay. All right. So we have our numbers and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to mess with it and be like, let me just do one more. No, I'm going to deal with what I got and that's kind of how it's gonna go down. So I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so we can focus on the eyes and we will jump into it. Okay, so we are going to start with the transition shade in this Daisy Marquez palette. Now, as you can see, I'm just brushing this from inner to outer corner. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna do. Next, I'm gonna take Enchant, which is the blue color from the Carity Matte palette. I'm cleaning off that brush and then blending the edges of the blue shadow a little bit. I'm 
I'm going to take a more clean, fluffier brush to kind of blend out the edges. No, I'm actually going to take a little bit more of Enchant on a more stippling, blending brush. Kind of bring it up a little higher. I'm going to take some concealer and cut the crease a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the white color from the palette that we got for number one and apply that to the lid. I'm gonna kinda of set this in place with the white. I'm gonna blend out the edges of where the blue and the white meet. Okay, so this is where I'm a little lost because I don't know if I wanna go in with purple and then like that copper color on my inner corner, if I should put the copper color and then the purple underneath my eye. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. I wish I can ask you guys. I think that's what we're gonna do So I'm gonna take the shade royalty and apply that to like half of my lid into the outer corner a little bit Hmm, I feel like I need to apply it with my finger There we go, that's better. I'm gonna wet my brush Just so I can get right underneath where we cut the crease really nicely I feel like I'm going to just apply this all over my lid. I feel like we're just going to take it there. I'm taking more of the blue shade and kind of blending that into it a little bit better. So it's not like super harsh, but I feel like these colors just aren't meant to blend together. This is kind of what we have to deal with. Maybe I'll do a wing liner and kind of like hide the mess a little bit, you know? I'm going in with even more of the white to hopefully make this actually look a little bit more white in this area but i feel like it's mixing in with the blue so it's making it look like a light blue i don't really do wing liner often but today we're gonna wing it out Did that wing really big. I have not done a wing in so long, so we're gonna clean up the edges of it. This would have been so much easier if I had a makeup wipe. I don't have one on me or close to me right now, so we are just going in with the concealer. All right, so I went ahead and popped on a lash, and I feel like this made the look so much better, but now I have to add purple to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly add that to the lower lash line with a little bit of the blue. So I'm gonna dip into the purple. And I just realized I forgot to put on concealer on my lower lash line. And I was questioning why the purple was sitting so weird in the blue. It's because it's not sticking to anything but some bare skin. So that is amazing. But we already committed to doing this. So we're just going to keep going with my finger because it's not really sticking because I did not put that concealer. So I'm going to just tap it on there. And... Uh, that is the eye look pretty much done. I just have to add some lower lash mascara, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, you guys, and I went ahead and did the other eye off camera, like I said, and did the rest of my makeup. And this is the final look. This isn't my favorite look by all means. I feel like it could have been worse. There was two chances that I could have gotten the color black and I didn't get it, so that's okay, because black can like really mess things up. By the way, that was Jerry walking in the background. He's actually with me almost in every video that I'm filming. You guys just don't know it because he's usually sitting down being really, really quiet. And he is quiet. He just, you know, how to make a little, little cameo in the background. But anyways, back to the makeup. So what I thought was going to mess up this look was that coppery color, the shimmery one. But with the blue and everything, like it actually looks really pretty. And then I added purple, and that's kind of when the look took a turn not for the best. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. And I will check you guys out in my next video. Are you doing my video? Yeah, I'm doing my video now. Okay, you go to the store. Now we go to the store. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to the store now. Yeah. Bye.